In this video, we will look at how to get an article from Wilson Select into EndNote along with the full text. I'll show you how to log in and search, how to add the bibliographic information to EndNote, how to download the full text and attach it in EndNote, and then, of course, we always want to double check our APA before we finish working on a reference. So let's start by logging in. I'm going to the Andrews University Library website, which you can see there, and I'm going to go over to List All Databases. And it's coming. Here we go. And I'm going to click on First Search. And it's thinking. Now it wants me to log in. Again, this is with my Andrews account. And it's thinking. All right, here we go. So here's the first search home page, and there's several different tools. I'm going to use um, Wilson Select. Again, I'm using my favorite keyword, video conference. And I'm going to just scroll down here, and all the way down here, and all the way down here, and choose Wilson Select. That went off your screen, but I think you got the idea. And then I'm going to click Search. And now all of my references come up. Again, this is fairly large on my screen compared to yours, but um, that gives you the idea of what happens when you search. So that's the login and search. And just a reminder also, if you need more information about searching and all the different ways that you can search, um, there's more information on the library webpage. So now that we've searched, let's just look in here again. Whoops, sorry, I'm bring, bring this back up. Let's look for an article, and I saw one here in here that I know I want for sure. In fact, you can mark a couple of these. I think I'll get this one, and there's another one here. I want to get this one here, so you can see what it looks like when I get more than one. And then I'm going to scroll back up here, and I'm going to go to Export. and I want to export the two marked records from this search and I'm exporting to EndNote and I'm going to click Export. Again, this is taking my bibliographic information for these two articles and bringing it into EndNote. It is now loading up my EndNote and it wants me to again choose which EndNote file I'm going to put this in. It goes in my Lit Review one and it's thinking about it even if you have the file open, it reopens it every time you export bibliographic information. Now I have to say which database I got this from. This is pretty important. And this was from Wilson Select in OCLC. And I'm going to choose Choose. I'm going to click Choose. And here it goes, importing again. All right, and here's the two resources. Here's the database that it came out of. and. Here both of these came in. All right, I can also look at the APA information that it's already making for me, and we'll come back and look at that in a second. So now that I have this in EndNote, let me go back here to remind you where we're going. So we logged in and searched. We got our bibliographic information in EndNote. Now we want to go get the full text of those articles. So we're going to go back to Internet Explorer. And I was just in here, I'm going to go back now to my marked records. So it will be looking at my two marked records. And here I have view full text in PDF. You can also get the HTML, but I like the PDFs better. Really doesn't matter which one you use, whichever you prefer. And it's loading. Again, this one actually it's not a good example of an article because it's only a page long and it's in a popular magazine so it's not really a research article but sometimes you quote these in your lit literature review so I'm going to click save actually before I do this I want to remember who wrote this Jody Howard Kennedy and I want to remind myself of the date on this so that I can label this properly when I save it and I'm going to save 
and I want this inside my Lit Review full text folder and I'm going to call it Kennedy 2004 Benefits of VC, which is close to the title and it's only one page. I put the page number in with it and I, or the number of pages and I save. All right, now that I have that one saved down, I could go get the other one, but for brevity's sake in this tutorial, we'll just quit that and I'm going to go back over to EndNote. Now that it's saved down, I want to attach this to my record in EndNote. And I can do this by right clicking. Let's see, you can't see that. Hang on. I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose File Attachments, Attach File. I'm going to go into my full text folder again and I'm going to find Kennedy 2004 Benefits of VC and I'm going to click open and now I have my attachment so now I have the full text and the bibliographic information entered into EndNote those are the first three steps the last thing that we want to do is double check the APA format so let me just scroll this over so you can see what it's doing. It's got a weird, I don't know why it's doing this actually, it's got this weird feature date of entry. I want to find that and get rid of it because I'm supposed to have, oh and I don't have my year properly in here either. Um, so here's my author, my title, my journal. This stuff is all right, it's just the date that seems to be messed up and I suspect this might be See, look at this. The date's coming down in here instead of in the year. Sometimes this happens. Weird things happen with the import. And so you have to come in here and just clear it up. All right, and it's using this type of article. I don't want this in here. I don't even know what that is. I'm going to do Control-S to save. Control-W to close that window. Comes back to this window. And now I have a bibliographic entry that's correct. And I could repeat the same process with this other article that I got. Okay, so that is how I got my files down from Wilson Select. Again, what we did is we logged in, we exported the bibliographic information, we downloaded the full text, renamed the file, attached it into EndNote, and then double check the APA format. And I would recommend doing this uh, procedure as quickly as you can because actually first search, let me just show you this, has a session timeout. So you don't want to spend a lot of time reading. Try and do all your collecting and then come back and read them later. At least that's how I like to do my work. All right, and uh, if you'd like to comment, please do so. Thank you.